Welcome back. Um, to solve the problem of um, generating all subsets, which is a power uh, set, from a given array of unique integers called dumps, we need to, turn, to return every possible combination of elements, including the empty set, uh, which is an empty array. So let's simplify that. Um, so let's try first to know what is a set. Okay, um, a set is a subset is um, a subset is, is any selection of elements from the given array where the order of elements doesn't matter. For example, if we have in the array nums like one, two, um, two and three, the um, the subset would include combinations like uh, one. Two, it could be something like um, two, three, and um, even empty uh, subsets. So, what is a bar subset? Uh, the bar, um, the bar set of um, um, of um, of a set is the collection of all possible subsets of the set. So, what how this will work? So, let's see that we have this array again. So all the combination it will be, we will have the empty, the empty array. After that, we will have an array with one. After that, we'll have two and one, two, and yeah, so on and so forth. So what do we need? Given an array of unique integers, we need to return all possible subsets. The output should include subset of all sizes from zero elements to all elements. The constraints tell us that the length of the array uh, nums is small, at most 10, which allows us to generate all possible combinations without worrying about performance too much. Okay, um, we can use a backtracking approach to solve this one. Um, and we can basically backtracking let me just type it for you back here so backtracking is a technique where we build the solution step by step exploring every possible at each step whether to include a number in the subset or not and backtracking which is undoing the last choice to explore other probabilities first we will start with an empty array okay and after that for each element or for each uh, let's say that we have one two three this is our num so for each element for each element of nums it could be one two three let's say that it would be that for each element either we include the number in the current subset or we don't include the number in the current subset and after that we recursively build the subset by including or excluding each number and after that we store each subset in the result list and after exploring a path we go back a track remove the last number added to explore another path okay so let's have an example so let's say that we have the nums array with one two three and we start with an empty array first so we will have this one We'll start with empty array and we add it to the result we add to the result so the result first will have an empty array at the beginning and after that we uh, we include one so we have one right now and we add to the result so the result array will have the empty array and it will have the array of one and we continue with two and we add it to the result and we go with um, let's say we will go also with um, no we will not continue with two we will have one two one two 
we add it to the result and after that we will go with um, we include three so we have one two three we'll add it to the result and after that we backtrack so we remove three um, and uh, we can backtrack and uh, remove two and we could have one again so when we backtrack two times we will go one have one again we could add uh, three so we will have one three and we add it to the result array um and we could backtrack uh, back to one so we remove three again and we can backtrack we remove one again so to include two and we can add two to the result array and after that we can include three with two we add it to the result array and we could backtrack removing three and backtrack removing two and start with we're starting with three and add three so this is how the backtrack system work but let's do it on the code first we need to create our result array it will equal an empty array and I'll create a function function called backtrack um, we would get to um, trans start and current um, we should return the result in the end because I always forget this and since a backtrack is a recursive function we need to call it um, we call it we start backtracking from the first index with an empty subset so first index and empty subset and let's see how that code will work here so first we need to push as we said before so it will be result dot push result dot push everything in the current since the current is an array okay and since we started with the empty array we're pushing an empty array so we add the current subset um, which is a copy of it to the result and after that we need to explore further possibilities by adding more numbers so i'll create for loop here for let i equals start um i less than nums dot length and i plus plus okay um i would say um the current the push we push to the current uh, current element which will be nums of i to we add nums of i to uh, the current subset and after that we, we need recursively explore with nums of i so we call the recursive function in the for loop i plus one and we add current and after that we need to backtrack by removing nums of i and exploring other paths so um, Um, let me do a current dot pop the last element so we push this one and we pop it again and I guess we basically done let me just clear Let me submit and see. Oh, it didn't work. Mm, backtrack. Yeah, it's. Um, mm, it's not right. Why? Mm, let me see why here. Backtrack. 
all plus one and we put current over the result here we have result open that track we have dot and current result that push everything in current and for i is equal to start i less than one then so i plus plus current the push number of i so we adding numbers to the current subset of the on the recursively back track um recursively you need to backtrack um this and uh, yeah why it's so special the problem here unexpected end of input solution uh, i don't know where the problem to be honest um let me see mm. what did i do wrong here like my old submission was exactly like that result to the push result to the push I start here as current start with i equals start i less than nums at length i plus plus i have the current subset push nums of i mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and backtrack all i plus one plus current and current the pop and return result of i wow this is weird mm -hmm. there's something wrong i see here start current start current result push let me see maybe this is the problem and click submit what I guess I did the problem as should be solved, but yeah, I don't know why it didn't work. If you know what the mistake that I have done, I have done, just feel free to give me a comment about that. But other than that, I guess, um, yeah, we, we, we are, uh, yeah, that's the solution. And um, let's just make a quick overview to it. So first we have the result, which is an array that we will store the whole subset. We have the backtrack function. Um, this um, we have the start index um, this tells us where to start looking for the next number to include in the subset we have the current subset which this keeps track of the subset we're currently building and after that we first um, add the current subset which is a copy to the result array then we iterate through uh, the array um, we iterate through the array starting from start index ending numbers to current uh, subset and recursively building subsets with those numbers after that we backtrack so after exploring um exploring passing a, pa a path by adding um, any number that we want we backtrack by removing the last added number in in in, in a lot in in uh, in that way and um and yeah this is how it works and we got an example this is an example how it will work so yeah, that's it for this video and see you in the future.